are. Yeah, where the yeah. heck are we? You're gonna pee right now? That is yeah. so I don't. Caroline, what if someone, like, what if clowns do come out? Oh. All right. Is this thing on? What's going on, friends? Hey, what's cracking? What's going on, dude? My name is Jessica Cooper, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, or Saturday, because I'm technically recording it on Saturday, but I just wanted to do a quick little vlog because I just got back from a really cool leadership conference called Catalyst with my team from my church. Fully alive, we're alive. I would always joke that I want to get a shirt that says fully asleep. So before I talk about something that I want to talk about, I wanted to show you a little bit about what I got to experience. And right. You guys are on the vlog. We're so excited. So we're excited. Be in the vlog. Yes, Catalyst vlog. Good Hi. Good morning. Oh, shot. Hello. Hello. This kangaroo man. I want to be on that level. What are you gonna do, Jessica? Line. You're gonna get in line? Yeah, because I'm gonna pull the snake. Pull the snake. Going the wrong way. Oh, me. Come on, like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. His scales were like flying back. Scales were good. How was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, we stopped because there's a cotton field. I've never seen one in person before, but it's cool. Yeah, where the yeah, heck are we? You're gonna pee right now? That is so yeah. I don't. Caroline, what if someone, like, what if clowns do come out? There are no <laughs> clowns that are gonna come out. And if they wanna mess with me while I'm totally peeing, let them. For them. So Catalyst was super awesome, very interesting. We had so many different speakers and literally there is so much that I wanna be able to sit and like share with you guys and give you all of the stuff that I learned. So a really big takeaway for me was a couple of things. One of the speakers was talking about just being vocal about their faith. And I think social media can be such a powerful tool if used the right way in order to share that love with people. So first, I wanna say my name is Jessica Cooper and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And it blows my mind that I was able to go to this conference because if you would have looked at my life just two short years ago, um, I, it wasn't necessarily like I was causing like a bunch of trouble and stuff like that, but um, it's really amazing to see all the work that God has done um, since I said, Lord, I am doing this your way only. So with that said, there was a speaker at Catalyst named Choco de Jesus. Sorry if I said your name wrong, man. I'm trying. And he just talked a lot about um, God's mark on your life. And he gave this example about how God's mark on your life is like a suitcase. So when you're going on vacation, on your suitcase, it says your destination, where it's supposed to go. And unfortunately, sometimes your luggage ends up in Brazil. And that's not where you were supposed to go. That wasn't your destination. You were going to Hawaii. But the point is like the, when the enemy sees you, he can see God's mark on your life and he can see the direction that you are going and he's gonna do everything that he can to try to derail that. And to me that made so much sense. I was like, yeah. I feel like that happens, but I do, I do feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And so it was really encouraging uh, when he added to that, he said, when God marks you, there is no demon in hell that can remove the hand of God from your life. Another big theme of the night was comparison. For me, especially as I'm trying to pursue um, this vlog, I'll find myself looking at other people's vlogs and seeing how they do it and whatever and seeing their personalities and thinking man i wish i um was more like them and i'll try to make my vlogs more like theirs and that's so silly because god made me like me like he gave me my own talents he gave me my own creativity he gave me my own humor and yet i sit around comparing myself to other vloggers who are more successful and that might be making money and doing things like that and think to myself, oh, like, yeah, I'm not good enough. I think my favorite thing that was said over the past two days of the conference was something from Lisa Bevere. She said, you are an answer looking for problems to solve. So I just want to encourage you that even on those days where you feel like that 
you're not good enough or that you might feel like you're useless, you are literally somebody else's answer. And what I mean is, please let me know how I can be praying for you guys. Let me know um, if there's something that you guys want me to talk about that maybe you know that I've gone through, um, whether it's something that has to do with my long distance relationship right now or some really tough stuff I had to deal with in the past or maybe the loss of my mom. Like I know that I went through certain things and I want to be able to to share them and use them and, and help somebody in the process. So. Yeah, overall, it was a super, super duper amazing conference. All of my pages of notes. That one was a lot. I took a lot of them, that one. Huge thank you to the Church of Love of 22 for giving us that opportunity to go and learn how to become better leaders. So I don't really know if this video was super encouraging or not. I'm still processing everything I learned over the past couple of days, but I'm so excited to be able to implement it somehow. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or a like on Facebook or on YouTube, depending on where you're watching it. Please let me know how I can be praying for you guys, what else you guys want to see. My name is Jessica Cooper. Have a very blessed day and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye. Cause there ain't it no lie. Baby, bye, bye, bye.